Yo, what's up, you guys? What's going on? I'm going to read y'all three uh, verses. First is Matthew 18 and verse 3. It says, I tell you the truth. Unless you turn around and become like little children, you will never enter the kingdom of heaven. Then this is 1 Corinthians 14 and 20. Dear brothers and sisters, don't be childish in your understanding of these things. Be innocent as babies when it comes to evil. Proverbs chapter 3 verse 11 says, My child, don't reject the Lord's discipline and don't be upset when he corrects you. So, may your mom and dad tell you something or just probably like a teacher or something. Do you ever get mad at them or do you ever like disrespect them or some type of way? Or don't want to hear it, you start grumbling or something like that. I know I did. Maybe sometimes I still do. But that's the thing. And the Bible says, constantly be like a child. A child of the Lord's. Because he's been here since the beginning. He's our father. We have to listen to what he tells us to do. So if you out here being rude to somebody, you out here being ungenerous to someone, then you know you're not following the Lord's command. And he can't convict you for that. If you have the Holy Spirit, he definitely going to convict you for that. We know the difference between right and wrong for a reason. We know the difference between right and wrong for a reason. Because we are originally the sons and daughters of God. Now, let me read this to you. I tell you the truth. Unless you turn around and become like a little children, you will never enter the kingdom of heaven. So if you don't listen to what he tell you to do, just like a child, you know when you tell a child to do something, they right up and do it. I know I used to do child care. You're like, hey man, come and help me with this paint. They're like, oh, okay, let me go do it. That's how we need to be with the father. You need to listen to what he tell us to do. We his little children, so we got to listen to him. First Corinthians 14 and 20. Dear brothers and sisters, don't be childish in your understanding of, what the, of these things. So... If somebody got on your head time, you're going to get back on their head time. If you arguing with somebody, you're going to argue back with them after they talk crap to you. You know what I'm saying? We can't be childish. We got to let all that childish stuff go. Lying, cheating, cheating on somebody you with, all types of stuff. We got to let the childish stuff go. The childish stuff got to be gone. I know a lot of childish people. They hold on to their pride. They can't even apologize. There's some stuff that we we got to fix if we are uh, really believers. You got to learn how to forgive someone. Forgiving is important. Because if God forgive us for our sins, how come we can't forgive someone, one of our brothers or our sisters? You know? There's a lot of people here that can't forgive because they hold on to pride too much. Too much pride going to get you in a lake. The Lord hates pride and arrogance. If you have too much pride to say sorry, if you have too much pride to forgive your brother or sister, then you have a problem. Jesus didn't have too much pride. He said, forgive them for they did not know what they are doing. He could have dropped a storm on them right there. He could have killed all of them, but he decided not to because he knew why he was there. It says, my child, don't, re don't reject the Lord's discipline. And don't be upset when he corrects you. That's important. Because a lot of people would think that Jesus and God are not going to correct you. Or you don't want to listen to what he say. Like people read the Bible and don't listen to what the Bible say. How are you going to read the Bible and not listen to what the Bible say? The Lord always going to discipline you. He always going to tell you something that you need to hear that you don't want to hear. You being disrespectful to that person. You need to be quiet when they talking. You grumble on your breath. I don't like that. There's been many a times the Holy Spirit uh, condemned me for what I'm doing. Because if you don't have the Holy Spirit, you need to get it. You need to ask God and pray to get the Holy Spirit. Because he's going to tell you when you're doing wrong. And a lot of times when you keep reading the Bible, you're going to know that oh, what I did wasn't right. I hurt this person. I shouldn't have did that. Because if we're really child of God... God is going to correct us. The Holy Spirit will correct us for what we are doing. All right, that's lying, being evil, doing stuff that you ain't got no business. You're going to feel that. You're going to know. And y'all that say you believe in Jesus or you believe in God, but you don't have the Holy Spirit, then what's really leading you for real? 
You got to be leaded by the Father and the Holy Spirit. There's plenty of times where people do stuff and they don't even repent. You got to repent for the things that you do. Because none of us are perfect. We are in the flesh. All have sin, all fall short of the glory of God. So we need to be repenting every time, daily. If we did something, we got to repent. If you hurt somebody, you need to say sorry to God because you're hurting God's children. We got to be able to repent, ladies and gentlemen. Because some people don't want to repent. That's hurt them holding them to their pride and, and scared to tell the Lord that they did something. So repent. All right, love you guys.